According to ChatGPT, one of the strangest retirements in Los Angeles Dodgers history is that of Steve Howe. Howe was a talented left-handed pitcher who played for the Dodgers from 1980 to 1982 and then returned to the team in 1988. However, his career was marred by personal issues, particularly his struggles with drug addiction. In 1992, Steve Howe announced his retirement from baseball for what would be the seventh and final time. His retirement came shortly after being suspended for the seventh time due to drug-related issues. The strange part of Howe's retirement was the circumstances surrounding it. Rather than simply announcing his retirement through a press release or a statement, Howe chose a unique approach. He held a press conference inside a horse trailer outside Dodger Stadium. This unconventional setting puzzled many people and added to the overall strangeness of his retirement announcement. During the press conference, Howe cited his ongoing battles with substance abuse as the reason for his retirement. He expressed a desire to focus on his personal life and overcoming his addiction issues. Unfortunately, despite several attempts at comebacks, Howe was never able to sustain a successful return to baseball. In reality, Steve Howe played for the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1980 to 1985. He never returned to the organization after being released. He briefly played for the Texas Rangers in 1987. While he was with the New York Yankees in 1992, he was arrested for purchasing a gram of cocaine. As a result, MLB Commissioner Faye Vincent banned him for life. While he was indeed suspended seven times, he never announced his retirement every time it happened. Howe was later reinstated and his playing career continued through 1997. His last season in MLB was in 1996 with the Yankees. Sadly, he was killed in a truck accident on April 28, 2006. He was not wearing a seat belt and had methamphetamine in his system. Stephen Roy Rowe was 48.